Hello and welcome to my first Escape from Tarkov video. My name is Spoon. In this series, I'll show you what you need to do in order to be successful in Tarkov. In this first video, we will be looking at buying the game, what version of Escape from Tarkov are available, which one should you get, and why. If you need the short answer, get the standard edition. You can always upgrade later if you want to. Everything else can be obtained in the game. Keep in mind, Battle State does not offer refunds. Battle State game offer four different package for their game. For the standard edition, we're looking at 45 US. The left behind is 75 US. The prepare for escape is 100 and the Edge of Darkness edition is 140. As we can see, there's a big difference in price between the version and not all versions are equal. The main reason to buy a higher version of the game is to get the different stash size and secure container. If you are new to EFT, you may wonder why would you need a bigger secure container or a bigger stash. In Tarkov, whenever you get into a game, the equipment you bring with you now belongs to the raid. If you die, you lose your gear. You can ensure almost everything you bring into the raid, meaning that if you die and no one takes it out, it will be returned to you. Trust me on this, again and again, you will die. The only thing you will keep is whatever was in your secure container. So the bigger the container, the more you will keep. There's five levels of secure container. Three of them are obtainable through the initial purchase of the game. The standard edition and the left behind edition offers the alpha container, which is a two by two container. The paper for escape edition offers the beta container, which is a two by three. And the edge of darkness limited edition offers the gamma container, which is a three by three. For the bigger part of the community, the main objective is to obtain the Kappa container, which is a 3x4. For that, you must finish most of the quests in the game. In the middle of that goal, after the Punisher series from Prapper, you will obtain a Nepsilin container, which is a 2x4. That means that a container such as the Beta does not have a big value, since it will be replaced by a bigger one halfway through Kappa. We have looked into secure container. Let's look into stash size. Each edition of Tarkovs offer more space than the preceding one. From 280 cells for the standard edition up to 680 cells for the Edge of Darkness. Each version of the game comes with a different level of stash. The one on the left is a 10 by 28 for the standard edition. The second one is 10 by 38 for the left behind. The paper for escape is a 10 by 48 and the edge of darkness is a 10 by 68. A lot of things can be done to get more space. To keep it simple, you can use rubles and items to update your stash from each level all the way up to the edge of darkness size. Also, there is other types of containers that can help out. Certain items in the game takes less space than they provide. Stash management is complex and I will cover it in my next video. I left out the initial equipment and currency you get with every version of the game. They are not the defining reason why you should get a specific version. The more you pay, the more you'll get. Every one of us will lose all of that gear and we are not gods of Tarkov. So. After all of that, what version should you get and why? The first edition, the standard one, gets you into the game. The left behind edition offer the same container as the standard one and offer next to nothing in space increase. It should be avoided. The paper for escape edition will be providing a bigger container and a more substantial stash size. We are looking at 200 cells more than the standard. The downsize is that the container will be replaced midway through all the quests by the Epsilon container. 
still, it's a good option. The Edge of Darkness edition offers a container bigger than the Epsilon, and the stash size is at the maximum it can be. It is expensive, but could be worth it if you will be playing a lot. We are down to three options. Standard, Prepare for Escape, and Edge of Darkness. Although a bigger container and a bigger stash size is nice, I would recommend to buy the Standard Edition for multiple reasons. First, the game is not refundable. If you don't like the game, you won't have spent more money than you should. Having less space for everything is a blessing in disguise. It will force you into success. You will have to learn stash management properly and what items are really worth it. Having to upgrade your stash will require some rubles and you will have to learn how to make money runs. And money runs will require map knowledge. Knowledge in Tarkov is everything. You could be the best FPS player in the world. If you don't have knowledge, you will get clapped. As a final point, get the standard edition, learn the game. When you feel you know enough and you would like an easier path towards Kappa, upgrade to a bigger version. Also, the game gets on sales like a couple of times during the year. Wait for them, you will save 15 to 25% on the game or the upgrade. I left the links towards the Proto page for Tarkov and comparison sheet I found on Reddit comparing what is included in each version if you do wish to see an overview. Remember to like and subscribe if you wish to see more Tarkov content. That's all I have for you today, and I'll see you in Tarkov.